Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Mortal Gaming. This is me again, Marvin, and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin. And this time, we're going to be looking at the new level 115 accessories. And as you all know, once you reach level 115, you'll be getting this type of pop-up budol. <laughs> so it gives you access to all of the level 115 for a choice of your own. So in my opinion, this pack is quite good for competitive players and also for those who are rushing to, you know, to be ahead of others in their guild or in their server. This is really good because you get a hold of the level 115 accessories without breaking a sweat in grinding or farming for those accessories. So this is really good. And also for those who already have one accessory that they have looted and they only need one accessory to pair it up. But some of these accessory sets are not, you know, are not acquirable through the MVPs. But for those who are, you know, less competitive and chill players, you can skip this accessory box. I'll be discussing that later. Let's now discuss about each of the sets of level 115 accessories okay so the the first one would be the pendants so we have two pendants here the pendant of harmony and the pendant of chaos the pendant of harmony is for magic users the pendant of chaos is for physical damage users so these are really game breaking because of the additional skill damage on refine plus 10 and it has an embedded somewhat embedded uh Owl Baron in it <laughs> you might say that it's only 50% but remember this doesn't have any set together with it so you don't have to pair it with anything else you can just equip two pendant of chaos if you are a physical damage user meaning you have two chances of 10% separate uh, mutually exclusive chances of 10% to increase your damage by 50% and it, if it procs at the same time, you get uh, a total of 100% increase on your damage because that's 2 times 50%. Aside from that, on Refine Plus 18, you have one magical attack or physical attack for every primary stat that you have, the highest one. So in my case, I have Strength on 99 plus 253, so that's 252 a total of uh, stat points. And then I will get a total of 252 f physical attack together with the physical attack percentage here, etc. So you can get two of this uh, equipped on your character. So that goes along with the Pendant of Harmony. This is also good for Archbishops because Archbishops, it, it includes here. So your skills have 10% chance to increase its damage or healing by 50% and we have already proven that every skill damage increase also increases your heal so skill damage plus 8% here magical attack 8 uh, 6% and additional base magical attack here so it's going to increase your heal by a lot okay so it's also good for arc bishops and maybe future wanderers or clowns but we still don't have any idea about the skills but i'm just you know on general they're healers their support so this would be increasing their value too next the morrigans set this one okay the morrigans set would have uh you know locked stats as of the moment i'm not sure why they did not include the stats of the effects of this uh, uh morrigan set but it is it is this one the overall highest stat that you have will be multiplied to your physical attack or magical attack whichever is higher and divide it to 400 that would be added to each of your physical attack and magical attack normal attacks okay so this is really good for sword type users rune knights and for ranger auto attack or adl but it's more leaning towards pvp because i have already uh you know i have already computed the value for example if you have if you have a total of 300 let's say 300 dexterity times of maybe the, at the highest like 30,000 or 40,000 physical attack okay divided to 400 
that would add 30,000 somehow on the highest tier uh, level players. 30,000 for each of your normal attack and that's really good for PvP. Next would be the Remorseless set and this one is good, very good for future Royal Guards and Kraken Rune Knights. So the additional damage here is based on your HP. And of course, uh, of course, we know that the Kraken tier has a higher HP or set of HP, then this would deal more damage to the enemy for every skill that you cast. And there's a cooldown of one second, but it's still good. It's still good for, you know, future Royal Guards because we know that Royal Guards have the highest HP among all of the job classes and the Kraken RKs, of course, they have very high HP. Next would be the Rings of Wisdom set. This one, the Wise King and the Ring of Resonance, okay? These are the most popular set for the Warlocks and Magic Damage users in the KR server. But for the Taiwan, since they have already released the Pendant of Harmony, I think the Harmony would still give a higher increase in damage for Warlocks rather than the Wisdom set. Since this one, the very important part here is that it reduces your fixed cast time and global cooldown but if you'll be looking at the current warlocks that we have right now they pretty much don't need that much fixed cast time reduction and global cooldown reduction because we already have abundance of that and you still have cast animation so the only thing that you would get here is the magical attack plus 30 percent which is not bad it's really really good but in my opinion if you're gonna spam your skills then i'd go for additional 50 percent more damage on your skills because warlocks are skill spammers so this would now be better for future sorcerers or dorams in my opinion those are the job classes that would need more uh, that would need higher global cooldown reduction or probably fixed cast time reduction we still don't know okay so that is for the ring of wisdom set next is the devourer of souls so this is the devourer of souls set so this increases your physical damage by up to 35 percent for every two meters that is you know between you and your enemy and since the Icarus Swing increases your attack range by additional one. This would definitely be better for the Rangers out there. So these are for very good for the Rangers. So now, if you are so excited about the level 115, I know that these are the most OP accessories as of the moment since they are the highest level accessories. Wait! Don't stop watching! I know you will get excited with this good news I have for you! We have a new partnership in the channel introducing the King James Enterprise or the KJE. The KJE has been the source of thousands of players for all their discounted top-ups not only in Mobile Legends, Lords Mobile, Genshin Impact, but also all of the Ragnarok franchises ever since Ragnarok Eternal Love. And KJE is now expanding also to Ragnarok Origin. So are you excited? I am excited. Just use the promo code below IMMORTALMBGG to get huge discounts on your first top-ups and even on your succeeding top-ups. So what are you waiting for? Let's top up on Ragnarok Origin with me. See you there. If you are thinking twice about purchasing those packs and the $200 is a bit much for you, I have good news for you. So if you'll be looking at the miscellaneous here and news and go further down for the preview of the next patches or future updates, look at this. New third job classes, new dungeon. What are this? The new jo third job classes would be the Doram class. And this is the next update that we will have according to the current patch notes that we have. So we'll be expecting the Doram class very soon and the new dungeon. So probably next next month around end January, I think, or February. 
around those point in time. What is the new dungeon? That is the Cat God dungeon. And included in this third job classes patch and new dungeon patch, currently in the test server of Taiwan server, are the new Divine Armament accessories. So this Divine Armament accessories can be obtained if you are level 120 above. So considering that in Frontera, Islud, etc. on Morok, the next server level up is January 22. Okay, so in that date, we will be up to level 123, right? So that's above 120. So I am expecting that they will be also giving out this new level 120 Divine Armament accessories. So included in those accessories would be the same set of build and you'll be able to choose which one would take effect on your current gear and that is also what's gonna happen in the upcoming divine armament accessories so if it's kind of heavy for you to purchase those accessories it's okay it's gonna be easier for you to get accessories in the future when we have the divine armament accessories released in our global server all right so that's it thank you everybody for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe if you happen to like this video please do leave a like share this to your friends and click that bell notification button to get notified every time i upload a new video start a new stream or a new content that's it see you again on the next video bye bye now I found you.